Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review and today we're going to take a look at Dirt Track Lightning McQueen. So before I get right into the review let me discuss something. So while repaving Radiator Springs' main street with Bessie, Lightning ran out of asphalt in the middle of the night and asked Sheriff if he can come down to Willie's Butte and tried numerous of times to make the third turn, or not Willie's Butte that he missed yes, the other day, but ended up spitting out. And after crashing into some tumbleweeds, Doc Hudson tried to coach him by pitching hard, breaking loose, driving with the throttle, and turning right to go left. And Lightning literally took Doc's advice, and he tried turning right to go left, literally, and he literally went right, 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 and landing in another cactus patch. And now, let's get right into the review here. So, here we've got his happy facial expression with his weathered bright red paint weathered all over and his smile in red all over and his 95 on his headlight stickers and on the hood we've got his Rusty's logo and his lightning bolt stickers with one of them covered in the the tar marking from repaving the road with Bessie and on the left side we've got a bit of dirt on his enamel and the dirt his wheels covered in dirt and along with his exhaust pipes and the bottom part and his 95 and retro yellow lightning bolt and, and several sponsors saying Piston Cub, Nitrate, Revolting, Octane Gain, Mood Springs Vitally, no stall gaskets, Gasprin, and Easy Idle, and a few ones covered in dirt. And on the top side, we've got another number 95 and a his name signature and no Rusty's logo on the spoiler. I mean, why, Mattel? Why would you release a dirt track Lightning McQueen with no Rusty's on the spoiler? So hopefully, so hopefully this dirt track McQueen. Will be will get a re-release, but with the Rusty's logo on the spoiler. So anyhow, we've got the Rusty's logo on the side in the gas cap, and on the back we've got his tail lights with a 95 on one of them, and a Rusty's logo and the rookie stripes with the slogan "Medicated Bump Ointment." And on the right side, same design but completely different. And that is it. So now let's compare them to the regular Cars 1 Lightning McQueen. So here are some comparisons. This McQ Both have Rusty's on the logo. Both have 95 on the he headlight stickers and the lightning bolt stickers and 95 on top. Name signature. Ducktail spoilers. And here's both have happy happy smiles, and there are, but there are some differences. This version bright red paint job is all bright and shiny, while this one is weathered all over. Lightning bolt stickers, and with one of them covered in tar. And now shiny and clean, dirty and weathered. Both have the 95 on the yellow retro lightning bolt. Both have sponsor logos and the gas cap and the Rusty's logo on the sides. Rusty's logo on spoiler, no Rusty's logo on spoiler. 
Both have the yellow rookie bumper sticker with the slogan medicated bump ointment, Rusty's logo, and 95 on taillight stickers on the back side. And that is it. So now let's pull up, let's compare them to the other versions of McQueen throughout the first Cars movie. We've got Town Lightning McQueen, Cactus McQueen, Finish Line McQueen, Cruisin' McQueen, Radiator Springs McQueen, and Dynaco McQueen. And that is completely it. So what do you guys think? Which version of Lightning McQueen in the first Cars movie is your favorite? Leave your thoughts in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you thumbs up and subscribe. Also, don't forget to leave any suggestions of which car of the past should I review next. And I hope to see you guys for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now.